Today, Focal is launching a new closed back headphone that I find a very interesting addition to the Focal lineup, and it's called the Focal Celesti. Now, that's how I'm going to pronounce it, Celesti. Even though I know my friends from Focal in France will pronounce it much more elegantly and with proper French flair. Celesti. The last time I tried to pronounce a Focal headphone's name like I thought I was hearing it from them was when they launched the Elier, which I only ended up pronouncing in a way that was wrong in every language. The Focal Iliar, Iliar, Iliar. Now you've got the Iliar and the Iliar, 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 Iliar. The Iliar, the Iliar, the Focal Iliar, the Iliar, Iliar. The Focal Celesti is again a new closed back Focal headphone. And the reason I think it's so interesting is because it replaces the Focal Elegia closed back that's been discontinued. And yet the Focal Celesti sounds quite different from the Elegia that it replaces, quite different. That's the what part of it. I don't have an answer to the why part of it, but I'll venture a guess or two. And that means I have to start by discussing Focal's other headphones first, starting with the flagship closed back Stelia. The flagship Focal Stelia is, in my opinion and for my tastes, one of the best closed back headphones ever made. As an enthusiast of high quality leather goods, the Stelia's construction and materials had immediate appeal with me. I think it's a gorgeous headphone. But that's all very secondary to me. What makes the Stelia what it is for me is, of course, its sound rich natural tone, impactful bass that's taut, controlled, a clean, clear, just forward enough mid-range to give what I consider the heart of the music proper presence in the mix, and treble that's layered and detailed, treble that's very lifelike, somehow both incisive and organic. The Stelia's treble is among its most magical qualities for me. Again, to me, the Stelia is easily one of the best sounding closed back headphones I've ever heard. The Elegia, which again the new Celesti replaces, and the Stelia were absolutely nothing alike. Whereas the Stelia is unrepentant about having character, the Elegia's chief trait was what I'd describe as being intentionally bland. Now most people would probably not want to be described as bland, but when it comes to headphones, it's not necessarily a disparagement at all. As closed back headphones go, the Elegia presented with a flat, almost featureless brand of neutrality. It was neither rich nor sparkling, but yet I didn't find it boring. The full Calilegia's bass was a bit light for my tastes, but I still found it a very enjoyable headphone to listen to. And frankly, I'm a bit surprised Focal's doing away with it, as I think the Elegia would still be a fine choice for studio monitoring, for example. But in Focal's lineup, whether open or closed, the Elegia was definitely the odd man out. You know that game where you're shown several things and asked which one does not belong? Well, if you played that same game listening to Focal's high-end headphones, I'd say the Elegia would be the obvious answer. It's the one that least belonged. Additionally, Focal recently announced another closed back headphone, the Focal for Bentley Radiance. I'll say more about the Radiance later in the context of the new Celesti, but I'm only bringing it up now to say that the Radiance only drove the Elegia further into black sheep status. But that's no matter anymore, as again, the Elegia is being replaced by the Celesti. So let me finally get to the new Focal Celesti, which really is what the video is about. But before I get into the Celesti's sound, which is what I really want to talk about, let me first quickly go over its physical traits. Unlike the Elegia that used microfiber ear pads, the new Celesti uses very supple leather ear pads, which I really love the feel of, and this also puts it more in line with its closed back Focal siblings. The Celesti's navy blue semi aniline leather is used throughout, not just on the ear pads, but also covering the headband and on the outside of the ear cups. Also, the ear cup leather is covered with a stainless steel grill with a pattern of circles that looks identical to the Stelia's grill. The Celesti also has soft copper metal detailing to contrast with the navy blue. It's an absolutely gorgeous headphone. And again, its build and feel is definitely more in line with Focal's other high-end closed back headphones than the Elegia's was. Inside, you'll find key things in common with Focal's other high-end closed back headphones, like their unique ear cups, the inside surfaces of which are covered with diffusers to break up standing waves, as well as Focal's very cleverly designed porting and damping schemes. If you watch our videos about the Focal Elegia and Focal Stelia from a couple of years ago, we go into this in much more detail with Nicolas Debard from Focal. Of course, the Celesti uses Focal's well-regarded M-shaped dome driver, the Celestis being made of aluminum magnesium, and like Focal's other high-end closed backs, the Celesti's nominal impedance is 35 ohms. Now let's get to my favorite part about the Celesti, which is its sound. Just like its build, in terms of its sound signature, the new Focal Celesti is definitely more like its siblings than the Elegia was. If you listen to the Stelia, Radiance, and Celesti, their differences are unmistakable. Yet there's also no mistaking that they're very much related. 
As for how it compares to its discontinued outlier sibling, the Allegia, the Celeste is definitely the better headphone for my tastes. Because with the Celeste, Focal opted for a voicing that's closer to the Stelia than the Allegia. A voicing that is certainly richer than the Allegia down low, which some Allegia listeners, myself included, thought it needed. Still, the Celeste is clean and fast through the bass, and Focal was able to give it more bass energy without mid-band creep, so it's at once more impactful down low, yet cleaner sounding into the mids than the Allegia. As for its mid-range, to my ears, Focal voiced the Celeste to have more of a focus on clarity than the Allegia. This is the area where, in my opinion, the Allegia could err a bit on the too bland side, the Allegia sounding forward enough but with less clarity than the Radiance or Stelia, and now the Celeste in direct comparison. In terms of mid-range voicing then, the Celeste again is more in line with its Focal stablemates than the Allegia. Also, the Celeste's treble is more spirited in the mix than the Allegia's. If you felt the Allegia could use a bit more sparkle up top than it had, you're going to be happy with the Celeste. Long story short, Celeste versus Allegia, the Celeste is a livelier listen. I think most would prefer the Celeste to the Allegia and that includes me. But if the flatter sounding presentation was the Allegia's big selling point for you, then the Allegia might still be more your thing. As for how the Celeste compares to its other closed back siblings in the line, here's how I'll break it down. To my ears, the Stelia remains the best of the three, more resolving across the audio band than not just its Focal stablemates, but perhaps also more than just about any other closed back headphone that comes to mind. Yes, I like the Stelia that much. To be fair, the Stelia is also the most expensive of the three by a wide margin. Compared to the Stelia, the Celeste, even though it has more punch down low than the Allegia it replaced, is still a bit lighter and less punchy than the Stelia. If you've heard the Stelia and thought it a touch too energetic in the bass, you might actually prefer the Celeste's level of bass in the mix. As for the Focal for Bentley Radiance, its bass is definitely the most forceful of the three, with thicker mid bass and upper bass than either of its siblings. I occasionally have audiophile bass head tendencies and the Radiance is a great headphone for those moods. Most of the time with the Radiance though, I use the Parametric EQ and Rune to tone its bass down just a touch. So as bass goes, the Radiance is the burliest of the Focals, yet still keeps it audiophile. The Celeste is the leanest of the three down low, but still punchy. So the Celeste, while not flat in the bass, has the flattest low end of the three. The Radiance, the most, and the Stelia, kind of in between. To be clear, I feel all three have excellent bass control and tautness, with the Stelia being the most resolving. Among the sonic things the Celeste and Radiance have in common is sparkly treble, and to my ears, it's a good sparkly. There's a sonic brilliance and clarity with the treble on the Celeste and Radiance that for me is never shrill. Now, while the smoothest of the three, the Stelia still has the most resolving, most lifelike treble of perhaps any closed headphone I've heard. I think the Stelia's overall resolution likely has a lot to do with its beryllium drivers. Now, if you've heard and loved the Stelia, but you can't bring yourself to spend Stelia level money, I think the Celeste should be next on your list to audition. The new Focal Celeste is a very worthy alternative to the Stelia, and for my tastes, I actually prefer it to the Radiance. I know it can be hard to sort through choices like these, but I hope this has been of some help. Before we go though, let's take a quick look at some frequency response measurements made using an average of multiple seatings on the Bruland Care 5128. The 5128 being the new standard for human hearing simulation covering the entire audio band from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Now since the Bruland Care 5128 is a new standard that simulates human hearing across the audio band for the first time, I thought I'd better start with the 5128 measured frequency response of a headphone that many here in this community have heard to compare the Celeste to. And that headphone is the Sennheiser HD650. Here's a look at how the Focal Celeste's frequency response compares to the Sennheiser HD650. And again, just for comparison to another common reference, here's the Celeste and the Sennheiser HD800S. Now let's start the Focal family comparisons by comparing the Focal Celeste's frequency response to the Allegia that it replaces. As you can see, the Celeste and Allegia have a couple of common tendencies, but are again quite different overall. Again, my preference is for the Celeste for its more impactful bass and great mid-band clarity. I think this measurement also helps explain the sparklier nature of the Celeste's treble. Comparing the Celeste to the Radiance, again you can see in this measurement how the Celeste is a lot more like Focal's other closed headphones than the Allegia was. You can also see why the Radiance sounds thicker through the bass than the Celeste. Looking at this measurement, it might seem that the Celeste and the Radiance have the most in common, but perhaps owing to the differences in bass, the Celeste actually sounds more to me like the Stelia. Here's the Focal Celeste compared to the Stelia. 
Again, even though it could reasonably be said that the Celeste has more in common with the Radiance, the difference in bass level between the Celeste and Radiance makes the Celeste sound more Stelia-like to me overall. To be clear though, these measurements don't quite reveal why the Stelia sounds more resolving to me than any of the others. I'll trust my hearing though and assume that when it comes to that, I'm just not looking at all the right measurements yet. Here are all three of Focal's current closebacks together. And for those of you who have heard the open back Focal Clear, here's a frequency response comparison between the Focal Celeste and the Clear. Now as far as total harmonic distortion goes, all three of these closed backs have very low THD across the audio band, all very impressive in this respect. Again, I hope this video was helpful for you in getting to know the Focal Celeste and where it sits in the Focal lineup. After spending a lot of listening time with the Celeste, I do understand why they've replaced the Allegia with it. The Celeste ties the closed back lineup together better in my opinion, and it's definitely a more solid Stelia alternative than the Allegia ever was for those not willing to spring for Stelia level pricing. Thanks for watching, see you next time and on the forums at headfi.org. The Focal Iliar, 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 and the now you've got the Iliar and the Iliar, 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 and Iliar, 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 the Iliar, the Focal, Iliar, and Iliar, and Iliar, Focal, Iliar, the Iliar, and Iliar, and Iliar, Iliar, the Iliar, the Iliar, the Iliar, and Focal, Iliar, Iliar, and Iliar, Iliar, and Iliar, the Iliar, the Iliar, and Iliar, and Iliar. I'm talking about the new Focal Elegia. Now the Elegia, the Elegia, Focal Elegia. Yeah, today is the very first of Elegia for us. So the Elegia. The Elegia, Vocal Elegia, the Elegia, the Vocal Elegia, the Elegia, the Elegia, the Elegia. elegia.